Dear students, I hope you are fine and you are doing well. Today we will learn about the human circulatory system. You can feel your heart every time you put your hand to your chest, but now we will learn what's really going on this process. Every day your heart beats approximately to 100,000 times and about 72 times per minute to keep the blood flowing through blood vessels that feed your organs and tissues with water, food, and oxygen. We have a pumping system, and the heart is the pump. Now we will explain the function and the structure of the heart. So heart is a powerful muscle that is located between our lungs, and it is protected by the ribcage. The heart pumps the blood to the lungs to get oxygen. Once it gets the oxygen, the heart pumps the oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. As you can see here in the picture, the human heart has four different chambers. So it has the right atrium, the left atrium, the right ventricle, and the left ventricle. We have here the blood with blue color which means that the blood is deoxygenated. And here we have the blood with red color, which means that the blood is oxygenated. Here we will explain step by step each stage of this process. So I will be clicking in one stage and I will be explaining it. As we said before, the blue color stands for deoxygenated blood and the red one for oxygenated blood. So this process starts here in the right atrium because the deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body enters the upper right chamber of the heart which is called the right atrium. Then the right atrium gets contracted which allows the blood to flow into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts by pushing the blood into the pulmonary valve to the pulmonary artery. Then the pulmonary artery will carry the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The lungs oxygenate the blood by exchanging gases and flowing back into the heart through the pulmonary veins or being more specific from the left pulmonary veins. Then the blood becomes oxygen rich by absorbing the oxygen in the lungs. So the function of the heart starts when the oxygenated blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart. So this part here by pulmonary veins. Then the left atrium pushes the blood into the left ventricle. In the left ventricle here. Of course, always by remembering that they will go through one-way valve. Blood is then pumped into aorta, right? Passing through aortic valve, going to the aorta, and remembering that the aorta will carry the oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body, except the lungs. Oxygenated blood reaches different parts of the body through the blood vessels. Then, by passing through all parts of the body, the blood will come back again to the right atrium, and this process starts all over again. As a homework, you have to describe the human circulatory system using the words blood vessels, pump, and valves. You have to explain what is oxygenated blood, where does blood become oxygenated, and which side of the heart contains 
oxygenated blood. I hope you understood it and if you have further questions, please let me know. Have a nice day. Thank you.